Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we did a lot of tactics, stopping the Gibdo threat to the Gerudo people, and today we're going to see what kind of plan Riju has for us. I believe most of I don't know if the- well, just for my own curiosity, I'm actually going to go see. I don't think the materials will constantly keep coming back, but I am down a bow now, so I could use another Gerudo bow. Okay, the materials themselves do- Oh. Oh, I can just take these? Heck, heck yeah, I'm taking them. Ah, but the weapons aren't here. That's unfortunate. So yeah, I, so now that we know that basically if you... A lot of stuff is set up here so you have weapons to at least defend the town with. That bow's still there. And that is a proper Gerudo bow, which I do need a replacement, so... Yoink! Um... Yeah, I was talking about that. So, I was talking about the whole th thing about the weapons and everything. Yeah. It basically, it gives you enough stuff to get the weapon set up. Um, the bows... Talk about the Gerudo weapons. The Gerudo weapons are probably some of the coolest and can be the strongest weapons in the game. But unless they get, like, the random passive buff of getting durability up, they will break... They won't break as quickly as bone weapons, but they do break rather quickly. So just keep that in mind if you wish to do this. Uh, do I talk to you? Get in. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're all right. It would have been unacceptable for an important guest to lay you, even a bow to be injured. You can pass through here. So get some rest and recover from such a from such a fierce battle. So the stay up man. There's gonna be so much stuff in here that I am not ready to conquer or handle. Anyway. Riju, what's the sitch? So. Link, you came. Look at the mirror on this wall. Mm. Yep, that looks like lightning. It is thought to have been painted by ancestors, ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using this shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster? Anyway, the writing on the mirror says, mm. standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me. I await you. Hmm. That mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words remind me of this mural. Hmm. This image must represent the location of some kind, and the engraved words are the riddle to discover its location. It's the only explanation that we makes sense. So now what is it update to? So, now we're set free to go do our, do our exploration. And I am, I am actually, uh, at this point, I'm like, I'm fairly certain that, like, we're into the next episode of all this stuff. I hope, anyway. Oh, I'm behind the throne room. No enemy, just me. I mean, in your, in your traditional teachings, I guess I would be considered enemy. Anyway. So I'm looking out, and I think that is one of what we're looking for. And I don't remember if the shrine is directly related to doing this or not, but... This is quite possibly some of the, uh... Because we're in the sandstorm, it's going to be rough to get through. But this is arguably probably some of the... I'm going to switch off three. Uh, just to be safer, my, give myself my own space of mind. I'm going to switch off that shield. Um... Just for the sake of, well, doing this, or, yeah, I'm sorry, I lost train of thought really bad. Lack of sleep makes you do dumb things, or say and do dumb things. I'm not going to, like, go out of my way to get to the shrines, but if the game is, like, says, hey, you have to finish the shrine in order to unlock this, then we'll do that. Uh, for the most part, I'll be, I'll be ignoring the Gibdos. I will say, once this regional phenomenon is complete, we don't, there isn't any kind of, you know, oh, because you... Because you finished the regional phenomenon. Um, because you finished the regional phenomenon, all the Gibdos are gone. No, Gibdos will still exist after this is all said and done. Just, it's gonna, there we go. Just after all is said and done, we do need to, right, I can't see a dang thing. Now I gotta look at something, because I, I don't remember exactly what this is. Set up like, but I have to look up top here just to be safe. 
Uh, okay. So we can use this as a point. So we're basically looking for points of light. I want to see... Okay, that is good. And I guess we could get the shrines that are nearby these, uh, locales. Actually, there isn't one here at all. Dang, I'm way off my mark on this stuff. <laughs> Help! Um. So, I would mark things to make this easier for us to find everything. But I'll tell you right now that uh, I'll tell you right now by what I'm looking at, and again, I'm like re-familiarizing myself with this whole thing just because I'm again, hundred an hour game is a starting point. These three towers we have to light we have to light up and make a triangle out of. So we need to follow that light out to the Well, almost almost due east. I guess it's uh east southeast. Thankfully the light will always be shining. So you can use that as a divining rod <clears throat> of sorts. Now, if you want to get the shrines that are close by these, they may help you in your endeavor to... Uh, if you want to find the shrines that are close by these uh, these pillars that we're going to be lighting up or put it, pushing the light out of, all the better in case you need to like, reconfigure them for any reason. I know I'm going to be kicking myself in the butt in a minute because I know I'm going to like set them up and then I'm going to aim them incorrectly. Because you will have to do a little bit to aim these. <clears throat> At least as far as I can recall. Um, uh, hmm. Okay. So there's a... So this one here, we do have to pick up somehow, and I have to see how we raise it up. Uh, is that, that's related, right there. Oh, look, a conv Oh, gosh, a conv Well, I didn't mean to overshoot. Oh, hide around. And some of this, and hi! Hey, I stole the arrow out of your back, but I'm gonna leave now. A conveniently placed bit. So I believe we just push. Yep, we raise it up. We gotta raise this particular platform up enough to get the light to hit it. And after the light is up, we just have to let things be. There we go. Oh, there ain't no way. There ain't no way that it's automatically lined up overall. It can't be. Well, I have a solution for this. You know, Bo? Kill. I mean, Tool and I appreciate your, your shooting, but uh, listen to your hot shot. Listen to your hot shot. I, uh,. Raw damage doesn't fly here, so unfortunately, you're a little out of your element. Anyway, well, that all handled. Oh, I thought, oh, there is stuff shining out here. I was like, wait, isn't there something shining out here? There's a lot. What is that? There's something. Oh, it's blowing away. I'm like, what is that? J like, going just outside of my range of, of acquisition. And it's an arrow blowing away in the wind. Anyway. So we will want to get ourselves up to the top here, so we can follow the light. Even though the light is, even though it is pretty on point where the light needs to go, but we've actually already almost completed the triangulation of this. To yeah, we've already already almost completed the triangulation of these lights to uh, find the monument in question. Now I'm just gonna do my best to follow light. If a if a Desert Swell, a uh, Dust Devil, whatever it wants to be called, wants to kick itself up to let it be known, all the better. I just realized I have the quest to... T I just realized I have the quest to turn in... Uh, I, I just realized I have the quest to turn in the Whirly Swirly things and finish that up, and I never turned it in. Good job, me. Thanks, me. Anyway, yep. Grab some Volt Fruits for what little upgrading we can do in the future. Do a little sand surfing to restore our stamina while we get over here. And, oh hey, oil. Boop, boop. All right, you guys have fun over there. I'm just gonna go up. And I think, ah yes, this one, okay. I remember this one. So we are gonna, uh, we are gonna need to transfer a, 
This is gonna be kind of dumb looking. I'm well aware of this. This is gonna be a little dumb looking. Hey, let go, let go, thank you. Uh, we are going to need to transfer a... Oh, I should probably turn it on first, oops. We're gonna need to transfer at least a singular stick up. Uh, we're gonna need to transfer one stick on top of this monument. I'm just trying to think how we do that. So put it up there. So let's see. Oh, no, not, not that. Uh, I want to grab. Let's see if I can do a little bit of two birds, one stone. No? Really? Too high up? But yeah, let's see if I can do a little bit of two birds, one stone kind of thing. So let's bring this, this platform up. I say two birds, one stone, but really what we're doing is kind of cheesing the system overall. Let's see. Uh, not this. We need to... I'm going to bring the stone up. going to bring the stone up here just so I can use it in a second for things. Climb up the rest of the way. Hopefully that is not so low that I can't uh, use it. Or can't grab it, rather. Okay, I can grab it. Let's bring it up. That should hopefully be enough. And can I just... I want to just ascend through the rest of this. How? As a wise man once said, houseway. Okay, that's good. That's enough leverage. So hopefully that's high enough to just grab this. Yep. And up. And like I said, you need just one. Thanks, game. You only need to have just one of these ready to roll. If you want to do more, you can do more, but you only need one. Now, we need to aim it back towards the first mirror, which is at town. Yep. Just spin it. I guess this would be clockwise. Or counterclockwise, excuse me. Spin it counterclockwise until the light lines up with, with Gerudo Town. The beacon by the backside of Gerudo Town. I think right about... Mm, yes, would be good enough. Yep, okay, that's good enough. Make a triangle. Thankfully, the first one... Thanks for the, the first... What do you want to call it? The first beacon automatically is automatically set up to guide you on your path and the second one too actually oh well it's already lit up so I guess that's just disabled but anyway why am I flying? I was just like, I was about to go do a thing. Look, we should go back to, we should go back to Riju and hand, uh, turn this in. But I'm also, Sika's going to be warping around anyway. Let's go ahead and turn in this quest really quick. And I know timestamps are going to be fun for me to edit for you guys. Makes sense. But trust me, we'll come back here in just a second. Oh, I could get to that shrine right now. Oops. We already took the picture, so hopefully I can turn it in. I brought you the picture, my friend. Whirly swirly dirly burly. Look at the big swirl. Sand circle looks like a sand swirling towards the center. I wonder what would happen if you got swallowed. Uh, you go underground. Yeah, this is the proper thank you. Take it. And, oh, actually, wow. That's that's great if you're into the horse stuff. Yeah, she's just uh, peaceful out there. Go slow exploring. Well, everyone likes to go exploring. All right. Uh, how many How many poops do I have? Probably not enough for anything. Now that I've handled this side quest way out of, way out of season. I'm going to call it way out of season just to make myself feel better. Let's go ahead and get ourselves back to Gerudo Town and talk to Riju. Also, I definitely, I definitely did not, but I ended up doing this fully intending some level of padding so I can get into the temple with little overhang. So I noticed when we were warping that... Basically, Riju has gone directly to the source at this point. I think herself. Mm, and maybe she hasn't. I I want to say it's the former. Uh, she's already gone out there. But just to be safe, take a quick dip. Quick, take a quick dip. Make sure she's not on the throne. And she is not. So let's go ahead and run back out. Let's go ahead and run back out to these light shrines. So we should be able to just move go, go straight forward. I think it's just straight south. 
Although I now I'm looking at the coordinates on the map and it's that's not south. This is not south. This is not the correct direction. This is the wrong room. You know, you know, hand them a light work, man. Stun them so I can just keep on running. Yeah, I definitely should have just run out. Man, why am I... I have the thing that reduces that reduces heat damage. Why am I being assaulted by the heat? Fine. If this is the way you're going to be, I'm going to eat my frozen meat. So yeah, aim for roughly the center of the triangle at this point. Uh, I guess just follow the top of the sand ridge. Roughly. Hang around the rock. Woo! Oh, almost worked. Uh, continue to follow the top of the sand ridge, and in this distance we might be, you should be able to, you might be able, I'm not sure how the compression will work on YouTube, but you should be able to see a problem. Could you put that seal away, Riju? Jeez, I, no one likes it. Did you see that, Link? It's Zelda. Or it was, or was it a mirage? Oh man, how do you deal with the desert out here, people? Now this should look very familiar, and we'll also, and anybody who's been paying attention will recognize what this is for something we're gonna do after this. We're all done here. Mm. I saw the lights of red pillars and hurried here as quick as I could. It cannot be a coincidence that we've seen uh, someone who looks like Zelda twice, but but a mystery for another time. Oh. Did you solve the mule's riddle and cause this to appear? I'm impressed. If I remember correctly, Lemuel said, unite the pillars of in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. Oh. Maybe my lightning strike is the key? Do you think? Uh, anywhere on this should work, considering lightning comes from the sky, so. That is a very large problem. And now they're just telling you, oh yeah, you can use read you. So yeah, um, reading the room, hey, here's your last sage. Read you is the last sage of the game, so have fun with that. Anyway, let's head right up to this place. We do need read you's assistance to even get inside of here. So, just gonna walk close. And even though it says the Lightning Temple, don't worry, we technically aren't starting, we technically cannot start the Lightning Temple right now, because we're just barred off from entering it. Riju? If you be a doll. I have... I have some pent-up aggression to handle. As soon as you'll, your strike gets out there. Yep, it, oh, it, it stopped there. Walk closer. Thank you! Got it. Light. I'm gonna light it up. So, this Queen Gibdo. This is, in my opinion, this is arguably the coolest. The, go oh boy. This is arguably the coolest. I hit it. You know what? Fine. I'm taking matters to my own hand. Give me, give me some splash fruit. Um, this should be working. It's just that it's moving around. 
There we go. It's exactly like the other Gib does. Oh boy. But yeah, it's just uh this this is probably the coolest looking boss in this entire game. Hey, Riju, it's not gonna do anything. You, you, sweetheart, you can stop attacking it. Toward the roof. Maybe there's some way to get up after it inside the structure. Mm. Come on, Link. Let's look for a way in. And you do have to go inside. So, okay. with this, everyone, I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Tears of the Kingdom. And next time, the Lightning Temple. I'll see you folks then. Take care. I'll uh, I'll handle this whole I'll handle this whole problem off camera because you don't need to see me fight Gibdos again. <laughs>